So today we're going to review how to do a one-handed knot tie. For this, we'll need our knot tying board, our practice string or suture, oh silk ties work best, and gloves are optional, but I highly recommend them. It's always best to practice a skill the same way you're going to have to execute it in the operating room. You can use this tie to secure any knot, especially when you may only have one hand free to tie. And some attendings will only want you to use a two-handed knot tie to tie sutures in the operating room, but some are okay with you moving on to this skill or starting with one-handed ties if that's what you feel most comfortable with. To start, we'll put our knot tying board in front of us, and we'll thread our practice string behind the side that has the Penrose drain. I'm going to put the blue side of my string on the right side, and the white side of my string on the left side. Since this is a left-handed tie, for this knot, my left hand is going to be my tying hand, my right hand is going to be my post, which means my left hand is going to be doing most of the work. Now the key to making this knot is going to be hooking your finger around the string, which can seem a bit confusing at first, so we'll start off slow. To start, I'm going to drape the left side of my string around my left index finger, so that the middle part of the string lays across these three fingers here. It will drape over my index finger, and the loose end will come up and over my index finger and drape across the palm of my hand like this. Next, I'm going to take the right side of my string and drape it over these three fingers as well, and the two sides of the string should be parallel. From here, I'm going to take my middle finger and I'm going to pull the blue end of my string with my middle finger under the white string and then over top so it looks something like this. Then with my middle finger and ring finger pinched, I'm going to pull the white end of my string through and cross my arms to then lay down a square knot. Now this is just one half of our knot in order to continue throwing square knots, we'll have to switch to making fours, and I'll show you what that looks like. To start, you'll pick up the same side of the string with the same hands that you had before, and using my index finger, I'm going to bring the white side of my string over top the blue side to make what almost looks like a number four, if you can see that. From here, I'm going to bring my index finger under the blue string and I'm going to hook the side of the white string that's on the opposite side of the blue string. I'm going to take the hooked part of my white string with my index finger and pull it through the middle and then pull on both sides of the string to then bring down my second knot. Since we crossed our hands last time, we don't need to cross our hands this time. And to continue, you would move back to laying your string across your left palm and then alternating back and forth between making fours and laying the string across your palm for each knot. So that way each knot lays square. And that is how you do a one-handed knot tie.